The UAE's amnesty scheme for visa violators has been extended until the end of this year. The Federal Authority for Identity, Citizenship, Customs and Port Security, known as ICP, has announced a two-month extension now until December 31st, 2024. This decision aligns with the UAE's 53rd Union Day celebrations and reflects the country's humanitarian values. It also responds to appeals from individuals wishing to legalize their status by either leaving the country or obtaining employment and modifying their residency status. The amnesty scheme, which began on September 1st, was initially scheduled to end on October 31st. The Director General of the ICP said this additional grace period represents the final opportunity for violators to rectify their status without incurring fines or facing entry bans. Once the amnesty period concludes, fines will be imposed on violators. And DD India correspondent Vinod Kumar joins us from Dubai to give us more inputs on this. Um, hi, Vinod. Uh, UAE's amnesty <coughs> scheme uh, for visa violators has been extended until the end of this year. Can we call it a final warning for visa violators? How, how should we take it? Yeah, definitely. This can be called as a final and an extended grace period. Already these people who are living in this country uh, without proper visas mm -hmm. have been given two months of uh, grace period to get their residency status rectified or leave back to mm. their home countries. Mm. Over the past two months, many individuals have already utilized this amnesty period facilitated by ICP mm. to address specific challenges faced by various violatory categories. Uh, and uh, uh, this grace extended period comes, as you rightly said, due to the huge demand. Yesterday, mm. in the various centers, happiness centers across uh, UAE, you could see long queues of uh, people uh, lining up to get their residency status rectified. So we can expect that this will be the last uh, chance for the, those violators. Mm -hmm. and, and UAE government has also uh, given guidelines to companies that they will be fined 1 million dirhams. Uh, that comes close to 20, uh, 23 lakh rupees if if they are found hiring uh, people with illegal visa status. And in India, uh, as far as India is concerned, we have a total expatriate population of close to 4 million people here. Mm -hmm. But the, as a proportion, as a percentage of the people who are fined violating is very small. And as early as uh, October, uh, October 31st, uh, that's yesterday, we found only 2,227 emergency certificates requests issued by the Indian consulate in Dubai. So we can very well say that uh, uh, as a percentage, Indian citizens figure much in this violatory category. But yes, uh, on the whole, you can see that uh, this is the last chance that uh, the UAE government is uh, extending. Okay. Uh, Vinod, can you explain the process for visa violators uh, to legalize uh, their status under the scheme? Uh, see, this visa violators comes in two categories. One, uh, one category is the people who already have residency visa and they overstay. And the other is people who come here on a tourist visa and... Uh, um, and uh, they have not recognized with the residency visa. People who uh, come here in tourist category visas, they have to go to particular cent uh, centers because their fingerprints were not obtained b b b while uh, getting the visa. So they have to go to these centers and all the uh, fines, fines means if you overstay for one day, it will be like 50 dirhams per day you have to pay. So these kind of fines will be completely waived off. People who lost a job or people who extended their uh, residency visas, have to go to a different centers mm. and uh, they can either leave to the country or regularize the visa until they find a job here. And the people who does not have passports, they can come to the consulates of their respective countries. For example, Indian Mission in Dubai or Indian Embassy in Abu Dhabi, they can go there and they can apply for an emergency certificate that in a gratis basis. After obtaining this uh, certificate, they will be either be gated, for, uh, gated and facilitated for an outpost and they can come back to um, their home countries or they can get a new job. Uh, after coming back, and they can recognize their status. This is a, this is a general process. Okay. Um, now, we know that after amnesty period concludes, fines will be imposed on violators. You've also said it, you've just mentioned it. Any information on how much it would be and what other actions would likely be taken against them? Uh, see, after uh, uh, this amnesty period is over, there will be detailed checks on companies who will be employing pay people uh, who are illegal stayers. Okay. Uh, uh, the latest report says that the UAE government is planning to impose a fine of 1 million dirhams uh, for people, uh, for companies who are employing illegal 
uh, illegal residence. This is the latest information that we, we get. And for people who are directly caught by the police who are illegally staying, they, they will be soon deported or they will, they will have to undergo the UAE legal procedure. So uh, as far as law is concerned, it's, it's pretty much strict over here. Uh, all, all right. And it's the final opportunity for violators, you know, to rectify their status without incurring fines or facing entry bans. Uh, once they face entry bans, Vinod, will it be permanent for life? There are various kinds of entry bans here. One is the entry ban when, when if you are caught in doing illegal activities, that, those kind of entry bans are permanent for life. And there are certain entry bans which prevents you from uh, coming back to UAE or coming back to GCC countries for a specific period of time. Usually this specific period of time is one year. So this comes in various, various categories and depend upon the kind of violation the European Court of Law. All right, we leave it there. Thank you so much, Vinod, for your inputs.